In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the half stitch on the neck of your bobbin. There's a couple of variations to this. So the first one, I'm going to hold the bobbin in my left hand and you can see that I've wound my thread clockwise around the bobbin so the thread is coming from underneath the bobbin here. I'm also going to hold the, the end of my thread in the left hand as well. Okay, I've now got a loop of thread sitting underneath my bobbin. So you can see it's coming from under the bobbin here and it's under the bobbin here. So in a standard half hitch, I'm going to put a twist on this loop by turning the thread towards myself. Then I'm going to catch this side of the thread, the thread that's in my fingers, over the neck of the bobbin. I'm going to catch hold of the thread in my right hand, put my left finger underneath the neck of the bobbin to support and pull up. There you have your standard half hitch. I'll do that again. So holding the thread and the bobbin in my left hand so the loop sits under the bobbin, turn the loop towards me and hook the thread that's in my right hand over the neck of the bobbin. Grab the end of the thread, support it with my left finger and pull up. I tend not to use this because I find that having a single loop over the end of my bobbin, the thread does have a tendency to run away from the bobbin. So I do a slight variation of this. Again, I'm going to hold the bobbin in my left hand and I'm going to hold the end of my thread in the left hand and the loop sits underneath the bobbin. I'm going to take this thread that I'm holding in my right hand and I'm going to wind it over the bobbin, over and away from myself, once, twice. Then gripping the thread end and supporting the bobbin with my left finger, pull it up. So you're just adding an extra loop to the half hitch. I find that what this does is it gives just a little bit more purchase on the neck of the bobbin and the thread is more likely to stay where you put it and less likely to run away from you. So I'll show you that again. Holding my bobbin in my left hand and the thread end in my left hand. Sit the bobbin on top of the thread loop and then wind with my right hand over and away from myself twice. Grab hold of the end of the thread, support the bobbin of the neck and pull up. Depending on the thread, I will put two, sometimes three loops on the bobbin. If a thread is very thick, then three loops is too bulky and it won't stay with the, the neck of the bobbin. It also depends a little bit on the, the style of the neck of the bobbin you're using. Some are more pronounced, some are more slippery. So I'll show you one more time. So hold the bobbin and the thread end in my left hand with the thread underneath the bobbin. Then with my right hand, I'm going to roll, roll the thread over and away from myself around the neck of the bobbin twice. Then I'm going to grab the end, support the neck of the bobbin with my left hand and pull the thread end and there you have it hopefully with this hitch your threads won't run away from you quite so much